and we are Shots, the Shots, 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 U.S. Air Force Academy. That's right, take your questions, rapid fire. You say the name is stuck, I tell you to buy, 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 sell, 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 sell, buy, sell, and then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? It's time for an Air Force lightning round. Tristan from Alabama, Tristan. Sir, my question is, uh, how do you play the payment space? Uh, MasterCard, for example. MasterCard is a stock that should be at 300, that is masquerading as a 274 dollars stock. I thought it was AJ Bonga did a fantastic job with that quarter. He's the CEO, and I want you to... Bye, bye, bye! Yes. Hey, Jim, I'm Mitch Schreider from California. What do you think of LSCC? LSCC? Latisse Semiconductor. Oh, 200% you know what? Growth that is this incredible. Year. No, that's an incredibly interesting situation. Yeah. And I actually want to buy it. Do you think I can stay independent? I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Okay. <laughs> yes. Sir, my question is with Nike's leadership changes, how do you think this will affect the stock? Which one? I'm sorry. With Nike's leadership changes? Nike? Do you know there's an article from the New York Times saying it suggests that Mark Parker may have had to leave because of the uh, what happened with the women athletes? I don't think that's true. I do like John Donahoe very much. Uh, Nike at, at, at ninety dollars, I think it's a buy. Okay? Yes. That's the new CEO, John Donahoe. He's from Service Now. He did a good job there. Yes, sir. Hey, Jim. Uh, Obi from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. From where? Philadelphia. <sighs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on uh, Beyond Mean? All right, so Beyond Mean's really hard because, you know, look, it's at 83. Ethan Brown is very committed. I think it's going to trade between 70 and 80, 70 and 80, until we get a couple of really big contracts, like a huge Kroger contract or the McDonald's contract. So now you're all depending on McDonald's saying that that test of 20 stores in Canada is going to be a winner, and I think it will be. I know it's contrary to most of my beliefs that it's an expensive stock, but I actually like Ethan Brown and what he's doing. What's the key ingredient in a hamburger, a Beyond Meat hamburger? What's the biggest key ingredient? Cellulose made by two part. Better living through chemistry. Hey, Jim. William Drubio from Long Island, New York. Okay. My question is Vista Outdoors. Should I buy a nine and a no, half? No, no, no. Just not enough mojo. Come on. I mean, like, we're going to be in that media book by Duke Disney if you want to be a big entertainment complex. Yes. Hey, Jim. Jonathan Imperial from Walk to Washington. Okay. Um, any thoughts on Microsoft going forward? I think Microsoft is up. One of the reasons why the, why the uh, NASDAQ was up so much today was because Microsoft really broke out. I think that Satya Nadell is doing a fantastic job. I think that the Azure, uh, absolutely, the Azure, uh, their data center is on fire. I like that stock going at least to 150 very, very quickly. Stay along that one. Hey, Jim. Matt Anderson from Forward, Indiana. What are your thoughts on Steel Dynamics? Steel Dynamics? Why? Why? I mean, I don't even like, you know, Nucor is the one you have to own, and the yield's good, and they're going to keep boosting the deal. But I, you know, but I do not like steel. And I don't like steel because despite the protection tariffs, prices went down. So I think you got to stay away from steel dynamics. Please stay away from steel dynamics. Thanks. And they're nice people. Hello, sir. McKinsey Nekineki from Swanee, Georgia. I was wondering your thoughts on companies like Illumina. Illumina? Uh, DNA sequencing companies. I, I, I think Illumina's great. But here's the pecking order, okay? First is Danaher. Okay, because they they've made a great acquisition from GD. Next, I would buy Thermo. Okay, uh, Thermo Fisher, TMO, Mark Casper does a great job, and only them would I buy a Okay, so that's number three on that list. Danner is going to have a really good quarter. Yes. Hi, Jim. Cole Cop is from Elwood, Indiana. How, you How do you feel about Ford? Which one? Ford. Ford. Yes, sir. Oh, it's such a tough one. Yeah, it's, this isn't the quarter. They can't do it. They have got to find a way to get back in China. Uh, make it profitable. They got to slim down Latin America. Uh, I still think they're committed to the dividend, but I cannot recommend that stock, and I will not recommend that stock. Hi, sir. Chandler Gerhold from Fargo, North Dakota. I'm wondering what your thoughts are on Alibaba. You know what? Alibaba is the only Chinese stock that I possibly buy. You remember, we've got Singles Day coming up. They're going to have a monster Singles Day. The Chinese created that holiday as a way to be able to stimulate their own economy. Hey, the, there's no accounting for Chinese communists. And I think Alibaba is going to have a very good number. I will recommend that stock despite the trade war. No other Chinese stock will I recommend because their financials are opaque. Yes. Hey, Jim. This is Joe McCollum from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. I'm wondering what you think about Tesla. Uh, about a month ago, I bought it for $232, and now it's at $337. That's a good buy. Now, I, you know, I, I think Tesla's got, they made some very good numbers last time. The shorts are telling me, Jim, please don't hurt people with Tesla. But you're right. That, they actually produce a lot of cars, and they got the China deal coming. So I understand why you want to do that. It's a nice spec at your age. Same as Beyond Meat. Same as Beyond Meat. 
Uh, uh, no, one more, one more. I'm thinking one more. Yes, Tom, I love you. I listen to no one other than, well, okay, my wife. Go ahead. Hey, Jim, thank you. My name's Tommy. I'm from Niwot, Colorado, and I'd like to ask your opinion on Workday. Workday, and Neil Bushry, I think he's going to have a good quarter after that last quarter when he rolled your expectations. That's a buy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. Hi, I am BMC Wendy Rudolph. Deploy at Camp Lemony in Djibouti, Africa. I'd like to give a shout out to my husband and children back in Castro Valley, California. I love you and miss you all. I also like to thank all the veterans watching this. Thank you for your service. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or Give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.